Hi, I'm Blair Wickstrom with Florida Sportsman. On today's boating seminar, we're going to go over converting your mechanical steering to hydraulic steering. We're at Palm City Yachts with Jay Warwick, and he's going to go through the process of switching out your boat from mechanical to hydraulic steering, the easy button. Today, more and more people are switching out their mechanical steering to the new hydraulic steering for their outboards. Today, we have a base star kit, which includes your helm, your dash, your hoses that go to the helm, to the steering ram, which attaches to your outboard. We also have steering fluid, fill hoses, and your manual, which shows you how to do every step. Your first step is to remove the old steering system completely. Unhook the cable from the helm and remove the steering wheel and helm from the console. Move to the stern of the boat and unhook the cable from the engine. Start by removing the steering arm, then unscrew the actual cable from the engine. Next, move to the front of the console and tape a strong line onto the end of the steering cable. Make sure you use plenty of tape. Go back to the stern of the boat. Pull the old cable out which in turn pulls the line through the trap, which will be used later to pull the new steering hoses back to the helm. Attach the new steering ram to the steering arm of the engine. Next, apply grease to the steering bar and insert it into the engine mount. Now, attach the steering bar to the steering ram. This next step can be tricky. Apply numerous wraps of tape to the line that you have coming from the stern and of the cable tube. Keep wrapping and attach the two steering hoses. Make sure to use plenty of tape because if those hoses come off, it's gonna create obstacles to get the hoses through the tube. Have a buddy up at the helm to pull on the lines as you feed the hoses into the tube. Usually most tubes are a bit crowded and this step may involve a lot of jiggling, shaking, pulling, and cursing. Now attach the steering hoses to the ram, one on each side. Next, attach the brass hose fittings on the underside of the new helm.
the helm, tape the provided template to the console and drill the holes. Place the helm in the spot and bolt it in from the inside. Attach the hoses to the helm. Be sure to attach the red or green in the appropriate sides marked S for starboard and P for port. Screw the old steering wheel back on tight. And finally, rig up a system to add hydraulic fluid into the helm. Pour fluid in the top container and some of it will go into the helm. Once your top container is full, start turning the wheel back and forth from end to end. This will draw fluid into the helm and you keep turning until you no longer see any bubbles in the catch res reservoir in the back. Use hose provided and attach to the ram. Open the valves up. Once finished, start turning the wheel back and forth from lock to lock.